breaking news. Welcome to today's headlines. Kano issued a deadly threat that anyone who flouted his seat at home order should write his will. Kano issued a, threat, a deadly threat that anyone who flouted his seat at home order should write his will. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, please stay tuned as I read to this news. Unam Dekanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, could be spending more time in detention as the federal government has reportedly filed a seven-count amended terrorism charge against him. According to Vanguard, it was discovered that the federal government had filed before the federal high court in Abuja. The amended charge that marked FHC ABJCR 3832015 In the new charge that contained the allegations against federal against Kano federal government specifically alleged that Kano is currently in the custody of the SS in a broadcast that was received and heard across Nigeria issued a deadly threat that anyone who flouted his seat at home order in the southeastern part of the country should write his or her will. Following his threat, federal government said that schools, working places and banks in the region have shut down with citizens and vehicular movement grounded. Unam Dikanu, the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, could be spending more time in detention as the federal government has reportedly filed a seven-count amended terrorism charge against him. According to Vanguard, it was discovered that the federal government had filed before the federal high court in Abuja the amended charge that marked FHC ABJCR 383-2015 In the new charge that contained the allegations against Kano, federal government specifically alleged that Kano was currently in the custody of the SS in a broadcast that was received and heard across Nigeria issued a deadly threat that anyone who flouted the seat at home order in the southeastern part of the country should ride his or her will. Following his threat, federal government said that schools, working places, and banks in the region have shut down with citizens and vehicular movement grounded. Federal government specifically alleged that Kano is currently in custody of the Department of State Services. DSS had, as a member of an unlawful group, in a broadcast that was received and heard across Nigeria, issued a deadly threat that anyone who flouted his seat at home order in the southeastern part of the country should write his or her will.
unamdikanu the leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra Lipop could be spending more time in detention as the federal government has reportedly filed a seven count amended terrorism charge against him. According to Vanguard, it was discovered that the federal government had filed before the federal high court in Abuja the amended charge that marked FHC ABG CR 383-2015. In the new charge that contained the allegations against Kanu, federal government specifically alleged that Kanu is currently in the custody of DSS in a broadcast that was received and had across Nigeria, issued a deadly threat that anyone who flouted the seat at home order in the southeastern part of the country should write his or her will. Following his threat, federal government said that schools, working places, and banks in the region of short town with citizens and vehicular movement grounded. Federal government specifically alleged that Kano Wu is currently in custody of the Department of State Services. DSS had as a member of an unlawful group in a broadcast that was received and heard across Nigeria. Issued a deadly threat that anyone who flouted the seat at home order in the southeastern part of the country should write his or her will. To my dear listeners, from wherever you're listening from, now we've come to the end of our today's news. Please do drop by at the comment section and let us know.